Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in once again and guess what people, guess what the mod is out. I think I mentioned it in the last episode or the one before, I don't remember exactly. But the uh, the mod that adds the new pools to uh, haunted chests and spikes slash mimic chests is now out. Can we actually find it in this list? Special chest pools, there it is. There it is. And yeah, it's out on the workshop now. We should be able to download it. I've managed to fix, well, I say I, Pedroff, the legend, actually basically coded the whole thing. I kind of gave him a basis to work off of, and he did a lot of it because he is a legend. Um, so thank you for making my idea come to reality. I've been wanting to do something like this for a long time. And yeah, we, we ironed out all the kinks. It's working, and it has full mod support as well. It, um, every single mod that's in my mod pack is supported in the way that any items that are on hit from any of the mods or trinkets are in the spike chest pool and any that are ghost themed items or trinkets from any of the mods we use are in the haunted chest pool so we will hope we will hope we will hope we can find one today it is kind of a low chance because in case you didn't know um ooh, i'm not gonna do tainted lazarus i'll yeah, yeah, take it for gone something more fun um in case you didn't know uh the way that um well, what was that too, by the way? Blue baby. The way that it works is uh, when a regular chest spawns, it has the chance to be... Ooh, chili bean. Um, it has the chance to be a spike chest. And then when a spike chest spawns, it has the chance to be a... Ooh, raisin? Mum's raisin is actually pretty decent for us here. Um, it has a chance to be a haunted chest. So haunted chests are pretty damn rare. Spike chests are fairly rare. And then on top of that, it's only a 15% chance for an item or a trinket. So getting one isn't all that common. Um, and especially for the haunted chest pool with how rare they are, the item pool there is is pretty saucy. There's there's a few really good items. Obviously, there's a few bad ones like ghost bombs in there, which isn't particularly bad, but it's not amazing. Ghost babies in there. But then on the other side of it, Stuff like Purgatory, even Death Certificate is in there. And you may be thinking, what the hell? Death Certificate. Basically, I wanted each pool to have one extremely good item. And Death Pool, although some people may see it as a loose fit, I feel like it's reasonably fitting for like a, a haunted sort of dead chest to have Death Certificate. And it's, a, it's another way to get Death Certificate, albeit an extremely rare way of getting it. Like... It's going to be crazy to see the first person that manages to get Death Certificate from that. Um, and then the Spike Chest Pool, of course, has all the on-hit effects on it. So you're going to be finding stuff like Fanny Pack, um, the Nun's Habit, um, like trinkets like Swallowed Penny, all that sort of good stuff in there. But that chest, that pool also has a very, very, very good item. And it has a few, actually. It's got the Nail. Um, it's got 8-inch uh, Nails because they're all spikes and nail themes. Um, and then it's also got Damocles in it, which um, I think Damocles is going to be even harder to get because the uh, spike chest pool is nearly double the size of the haunted chest pool. It's 51 items if you have all the mods installed. So it's a pretty huge, uh, pretty huge pool to go at. Um, I uh, we'll buy a soul heart. Um, yeah, so it's a pretty huge pool to go at. Um, so, like, have to see if anyone ends up getting it. But Damocles is technically an on-hit effect. It act you, you use it as an active item. It activates once you first get hit, and it can kill you. So it is an on-hit effect. It fits pretty perfectly, I think. Or at least I hope. Um, oh, wait, do we use the, the chili bean from our body or from the, from the soul? Because if we use it from our body, that's actually pretty good. Uh, from the burn, should I say. Um... But yeah, um, so I'm, I'm really hoping people enjoy it. I'm I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's going to be a reasonably popular mod. I mean, not to brag, but I have a pretty good track record with my mods. Um, I don't have a single mod that has under 3,500, uh, 3,400 I think is the lowest. And that's my Eden, uh, Tainted Eden um, mod, which is a little bit specific. Oh, really? Um, I think I want Chili Bean. Um... Which is a little bit specific anyways, so, but my, like my, my secret room mod is up to like 18,000 downloads, which is just awesome, so thank you all for supporting that. The rare secret rooms is, is about 10k or a little bit over that, and uh, my devil deal mod is on like 8k, uh, so I, I'm gonna, I'm really, really happy with the, um, with how much people like my stuff. <laughs> it's simple as that, really. I'm really happy with how much people enjoy the, uh, the stuff that I've made. 
Ooh, well that was nice. Um, and yeah, I'm really hoping that this mod, uh, this mod does well. I feel like it will. Um, I, like, uh, I feel the ideas really sound. Like, I came up with some good item pools. It's something that I can't believe hasn't been done before. It seems like a really sort of low-hanging fruit. So I feel like for that reason, popular. I made an absolutely awesome thumbnail for it which I'm really proud of. I, I don't know if you guys have seen the thumbnails for my other mods, but I tend to make um, Binding of Isaac text, like the Repentance text, but then kind of theme it uh, around the mod. So like for the Devil Deal one, it was red. For the Secret Rooms one, it was kind of a, a more browny color. And this one I've done, um, the, it's called um, Special Chest Pools. So the special bit at the top is themed around haunted chests with the webbing on it. And the... Um, the bottom two, uh, the chest pools bit, is themed around spike chest with, like, blood and spikes coming off of the text. And uh, it's also got, like, a little gif of the two chests dancing and then uh, a, a showcase of some of the little items within the pool. I think it's really good. I think it's really, really good. Um, and, of course, on top of that, Petrov has just done an incredible job coding, coding it. Like, it was kind of... So, as some of you might know, it was originally based off of another mod that I found that kind of had the haunted chest thing as a secondary feature. And I was just thinking, you know, expanding on that mod, I thought it was going to be kind of a small amount of code, and um, Pedroff would maybe spend, like, a day max working on it. But he actually ended up spending, um, like, a, a, a good few nights sort of helping me out. He had, he reworked the initial mod itself to, to be coded a little better because there was some jankiness with how it spawned items. Um, he added in this mod support. He added in, like, chaos protection, because apparently when you add in a custom item pool, chaos can get a bit wacky. Pretty nice. Ooh, we're on two uh, syringes as well. Um, so, yeah, it was it was really nice to see... Ah, oh, I really should have gone and got that other item in the shop there. Um, it was really nice to see that he was so willing to help out. Um, I'm hoping, or at least thinking, that... It's because I've been help. Uh, I've been helpful in the past with. Um, I mean, for one, I'm just like decent mates with him already. We we speak r relatively often. Um, but also, I think it's because I've like helped some a uh, decent amount with the Ipecac mod in the past in terms of just feedback. But also, obviously, I made a bunch of rooms. I guess we'll get school bag. I don't really see the reason not to. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say I made some rooms um, and the the voiceovers. I mean, the, to be fair, I have to I have to say the voiceovers I just did for fun. I wasn't actually expecting them to use them, but <laughs> they did, and I'm very happy about that. Um, I just I, I basically I just wanted to do it because because I thought it'd be like a fun little exercise, and um, yeah, I, like I have a half decent mic, so I tried it out. Anyways, uh, enough jibber jabbering on about my amazing accomplishments um <laughs> sound like a self-centered asshole right now um ooh, this is a bit of a spicy room my god um on to sort of what question we're gonna ask what's if this is just a basic one what's everyone's favorite active item in the binding of isaac it can be modded or not but what's everyone's favorite active um for me there's, there's a lot of different ones I, it's very very hard to pick one in fact, off the top of my head, I don't even know what it would be. It's very, very hard to say. I'm trying to think of an active... At the minute, maybe it's Molten Dime. I really like Molten Dime. <laughs> it's very fun. It's very risk-reward, which I love. Um, like, that, at the, off the top of my head, at least, that's the one that's really coming to mind. You, you threw that bomb in the complete wrong direction, sir. I'm really liking having Mum's Razor. I realise Mum's Razor isn't a very good item in general. Like... Oh my god! You're just a bitch, aren't you? Uh, I'm gonna say, I realise Mum's Razor isn't a great... Oh, this is terrible for me. Okay, thank god he moved. Um, it isn't a great item in general, but it's just that little bit of extra contact damage while we're throwing him at throwing this boy at, uh, at enemies. Kind of works out. It's nice. Yeah, we got him. Colostomia. More like Colostom... Colostogodeen. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. I apologize. Ooh, we got a dime and a luck penny. Uh, do you know what? I'm feeling minesy. We've got enough bombs. In fact, as well, I'm also feeling like a secret room is, is very much in the cards for us right now. So let's go have a little... Let's go have a little John, a little C. See what we can find. But I, again, I'm, I'm waking up in a pretty good mood today. I mean, for one, the, the mod's out now. Uh, as, of, as of when you guys will see this, at least. It's not quite out for me yet, but it's... Uh, yeah, um, I'm a, lo a little lost on where secret room is here. 
Excuse me? Oh, mm, 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 mm. I think it's over here. It actually would be really nice if it was over here because that get, gives us access to boss trap, and it is indeed. That was a little stupid of me there. It took me way too long to find that. Anyhow. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to say I'm in a good mood because of that. Like, ooh, hoo, hoo, we get spun, and it's a damage up. That's so good. That's a lot of damage for this floor with this character that... Doesn't the burn have like a three times damage multiplier like baked into it? I'm going to try and keep the throws up here, but it's kind of difficult to do. There you go, beautiful. We'll grab that as well, why not? But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty damn happy with how this, this room went here. But yeah, if we see a spike chest, even if I'm on low HP, if we see a spike chest or a ghost chest, I am going to take them in a heartbeat. Because I really want to see if we can get some cool items. One thing that I'm kind of looking forward to as well is playing Tainted Maggie. I know spike chests aren't like super common. It's not like you get like a few of them every run. But Maggie really plays into on-hit effects. So having a new chest pool that adds on-hit effects... It's going to be really fun for her, especially if you get high luck and you're able to get a good few of those, uh, a good few of those dropping during a run. Hey, it was so worth it. Nice. In fact, it was so worth it. And, do you want to get out of my way? There we go. Virgo! Do you know what? I was going to say Virgo's decent for the pills, but we don't, we, we don't have any pills left, so. Yeah, do you know what? I'm actually happy with Seraphim. There you go. I am happy with Seraphim. I'm actually really liking Chili Bean. <laughs> uh, ooh, teleport to the secret room reveals the room, um, the secret room locations on the current floor. Juice Deuce. Let's grab Juice Deuce. And we'll do this. Two Zealot Hearts. That's saucy as fuck. Do you know what? I'm going to grab one. And mainly because I, I, I just realized there's no need to grab them this early. I might as well wait until the end of the floor. Uh, but I'm going to leave the other one and then pick it up at the end of the floor. I should have done that with both of them, obviously. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, I'll grab that. So basically we can get like an item and then a soul heart for free. That's pretty cool. I like it. So yeah, we really don't want to get hit. If you don't know what zealot hearts do, by the way, they're incredibly powerful. Um, if you can manage to keep it until the next floor... You get a Lemmageddon Wisp. I believe it's one. It might be more. Um, I'm guessing it's more based on how many Zealot Hearts you have. Yeah, they're, they're really, really good. The They might be a touch overpowered. But at the same time, they they really reward you not getting hit. And I like that. I think that's, I think that's good design. Um, so in this situation... Gotta remember, we do have... So I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this and just pop it. We get Binky. That's pretty good. Um, we can get this for free now. I think that was free at least. Um, do you know what? Dull Riz is one of those items I never get use out of. I should have thought about picking up Binky before I did actually, because Binky makes us small, and we technically don't want to be small. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! These are red fires. That was close. <laughs> that was close. Right the hood in. Um, honestly, because of the Zealot Heart situation, I think we just bounce. I think we bounce by the ounce. Of course, we'll make sure to come back for that other Zealot Heart first. I I do feel like there's a very strong possibility that we get hit. Especially to this dude. I hate this boss. I mean, at least we have flight. That kind of helps. I don't know what... Po I was just about to say I don't know what poisoned him, but I think he destroyed a mushroom and poisoned himself. He is, in a word, an absolute goober. Uh, ooh, Immaculate Heart? That's some good shit. Okay, we got some interesting stuff going on now. We have a very high amount of damage as well. Right, let's grab that Zealot Heart. Hopefully this room with the Zealot Heart is rare. Ugh! Oh, okay, that's fair play. Do you know what? Do you know what? That is very good. You can't have more than one Zealot Heart. That is... Very good. Thinking about it, it would be kind of busted if you could have more than one. Um, but anyways, let's have a little look-see here. Holy fuck. 
You do not understand how lucky we just got. So, let's break it down. We get a Zealot Heart. The Zealot Heart, upon entering a new floor, gives us a single one Lemmigate and Wisp. The one Lemmigate and Wisp ended up being Star's Calling. I think it's called that, which is what this thing is. And what this item does is, upon entering a new floor, gives you three Lemmigate and Wisps. So, we got, we got a Zealot Heart that gave us one Le Lemmigate and Wisp that gave us an item that gave us three more Lemmigate and Wisps. What the fuck? <laughs> The chances of that happening are kind of absurd. So, obviously, it'd be really nice if we can keep our Zealot Heart um, until the next floor. I highly doubt that's going to happen. We've got to we've got to end up keeping it alive for a long time. Uh, you've also got to remember that um, Lemmigate and Wisps are virtually useless for us. Like, they are initially decent enough, but we... Uh, I'm pretty sure this is Little Portal. I'm going to take the random. Uh, oh, that's decent enough. Um, yes, uh, the Lemmigate and Wisps are going to crash into enemies as we throw our dude, which obviously is going to destroy them. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate. It does mean we have uh, extra damage for a short while, though, because we're going to be able to use that... Um, we're going to be able to use that damage from the, from the Lemmigate and Wisps. It just means that they're going to perish quite quickly, which is so, so... But to be fair, apart from the, the Star's Calling thing, we didn't really get any items that were incredibly stellar anyway. So, Necronomicon is decent. Book of Secrets is meh. I think we'll take Necro... Actually, just a minute. Let's, uh, let's double up the Book of Secrets here. Secret rooms revealed. Wow, 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 Yeah, I'll keep Necronomicon. Necronomicon's decent enough. Maybe, have I been missing um, curse rooms here? I'm, I'm, there's a very possible chance I've been missing curse rooms here. Um, makes red chests. Uh, okay, yeah. More exciting red chests sounds interesting to me. It's a trinket I haven't used in a long while. I believe it's a deliverance trinket, if I remember correctly. Okay, th this was dumb. <laughs> I threw directly into that guy while his head was down and just burned myself. Get smelty smelty. Okay, so please don't take away my um, my zealot heart. No, it didn't. Good. Let's grab that. And then we'll grab Blessed Leaf. Increase the odds of finding Eden Blessing. Uh, if kept until the end of the run, we get a new trinket on our next run. I feel like that's pretty good. Doubles our bombs. Boom, boom, bow. Oh, I wonder what item that is. No, thank you. Actually, do you know what? Do you know what? I'm dumb. I should have taken it. Like, thinking about it, it's all cards, baby. It's all cards. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. The spider took my zealot heart. I told you it was going to be hard to keep it. Let's just quickly go back and, um... Slip slap our donation machine, because I want some cards here. Oh my lord, that's a lot of cards. Okay, scratch card. Ended up giving us a nickel, and we got ourselves a strength. I'll take the strength, I think. And then we'll just bounce. B B B bounce. Um I'm kinda tempted by this. Do you know what? I accidentally put a heart into it, so we're committing. <laughs> I was like, ooh, maybe, maybe, and then I got a little too close, it took a heart from me. Um <laughs> And there you go. Right. Gay henna. I don't... <laughs> I sort of said... Oh, God. This is precarious. Oh, my... Yeah. Um, I said... <laughs> I said Gehenna in a really weird way. And it ended up coming out as Gay henna. No. What is that? Like... A really homosexual Indian henna tattoo. Is it... Is, are henna tattoos Indian? I don't know. Why am I talking about this? Again, I don't know. It is a mystery. Okay, we need to be a little careful because although my health is still fine, we have just lost quite a large amount of health quite quickly. 
justice. Spawn six pickup free rolls, all pickups in the room. Hmm. So I think I think we should go do this and then drop this out here. Grab that back. Go up there. Grab. Oh, actually, actually, we got we got some players here. We pop this. Do you know what? Let's, yeah, let's just let's just pop it. Do you know what? I'm on board. That was pretty good stuff. Uh, we even got a soul of Kane, which is intriguing. How many red rooms? We, we, we want to get a, ma a minimum of two red rooms, max, like, obviously maximum of as many as possible. This is a very precarious room here. Oh my lord. Why would you place him there? God damn. It's a cool room though. The position I found myself in is quite treacherous, but otherwise, we good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, that was inevitable. Unfortunately. What's with all the fucking actives? And the thing is as well, like, it's not even good actives. Like, come on now. <laughs> Don't be so rude. Hello. Ah, oh, that's an interesting room. I think this is one of the rooms that used to be in, um... Used to be in Alphabet. No, um... Used to be in Antibirth. Basically, this has a 50% chance to be either this teleport or this teleporter, so you either get an item or chests. Pretty cool room. As reward rooms go, I like it. I'm Yeah, I'm a bit spooked by my HP. There is a tinted drop just there. We do have a strength card here, which I don't much care for. What was this room looking like for rev room access? Two. There is two. Do you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take those odds. I'm going to take those odds. We even got a secret room too. Perfection. Oh, oh no, we do have it smelted. These these chests, red chests, are more interesting. <laughs> damage up per kill chance to take triple damage. That did kill us last time, so that is a little sauce. How are these in any way better? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on that with uh, with soul heart health because that did end up getting us killed last time. This is a this is a room and a half. This. I love the Gehenna red rooms, they look really good. No ultra secret room, unfortunately. Eat, 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 everyone's... Do you, do you want to know my favourite thing? My, the absolute pinnacle of this run. The best thing that is currently happening. The fact that the Forgotten has a fisherman's hat on. That is the best thing I've ever seen. Look at him. He, he is just a dad. Ready to ready to get out on the open water. He's just like, son, yeet me. I'm going fishing. I may or may not come back. Fucking he gets there and he's just like <laughs> he's just like, wait a minute, I'm a pile of bones. How the fuck am I gonna fish? <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> son, yeet me at the fish. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't know why that, that fucking image just came into my head. But, oh my god. Um, <laughs> I can just imagine the, forgot the, the, the Forgotten's Burns and the Soul. They're just out at the lake. They see a fish and he's like, son, eat me. I don't know why I've, I've decided that the Soul is his son, but it just... <laughs> Do you know what's even funnier now that I look, like, now that I look at this picture? He's also wearing, he's also like got the binky in his mouth, the, the dummy, the, ch the, the child's like pacifier. Oh my god, I'm getting hit so much. <laughs> that just adds to the hilarity of this. <laughs> he's like, son, I see a fish. Eat me at him. Oh, I was really hoping the Necronomicon would benefit from the strength card, but it didn't seem to. I was hoping we'd get like a an absolutely popping um, damage bonus. There it is, Eden's Blessing. Hello, thank you. It's actually a nice fire upgrade, so I'm pretty happy with it. And I'm very happy with that as well. Oh, but it's ruined our hat visuals. Nope. Don't want the halo. 
I want my fisherman's hat. <laughs> Go away, Halo. I don't give a damn about your stat upgrades. You can't ruin my sweet style and expect to just get away with it. Oh, this is janky. My dude is an absolute fisherman dad G. He cannot be stopped by your mere halo. What would you rather be? An angel or a dad on a fishing trip? The, the answer is obvious. There is only one correct answer. I'm clearly in a very bizarre mood today. Not that it's a bad thing, but yeah, I am, I am, ooh, that was close. I am saying some things that do not make sense to any human on a dude. Stop walking into the enemies also. I really want Dingleberry, but, but we've got to commit to this Eden's Leaf business and try and get uh, a, a trinket to carry over to the next run. Because then we get a trinket and an item on the next run, which I feel is pretty awesome. That would be good if we could actually heal. Let's just go with Freezer Baby yet. I'm pretty happy with that. Ooh, unknown. Ba -boom. Okay. Um, do you know what? That's a little bit of a shame. Because if we'd have done that in a secret room, we could have got a secret room item. But there you go. Because we got a broken heart. Look. One broken heart ain't, ain't nothing. Though. It ain't nothing but a crock of shit. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Still, unfortunately, no haunted or spiked chests to go at. I uh, was really hoping we'd have seen one by now, but... Oh, God. The bishop. Dude. my Look, look at my health. It has severely, severely deteriorated. I mean, shops could end up being quite valuable for us, so let's not, uh, let's not disregard that. Ooh, we got a multi-heart thing. Wait, uh, excuse me. I didn't... I'm fairly sure I decided that I wasn't going to take this trinket, didn't I? A champion somewhere, isn't there? Nope, it's just you. Wait, what? Who else is there? Oh, there's more of these guys. What the hell? Yeah, excuse me, but where is my Eden Leaf? I think we decided we were going to take the Eden Leaf. And the game seems to have uh, changed our mind there. Okay, it was just that it was like right on the... Game, stop. It was right on the door. Right on the cusp. Right, I'm a, yeah, I'm definitely a little worried now. At first I was like minor minor amounts of worried. Now I'm major amounts of worried. Oh, this is a, a hellish room. Boom bow. Broken math, that could end up giving us a... Yeah, bookworm, baby. Our, our fisherman dad has now got a monocle to go to, to go with his look. I feel like that's a that's a good look. He kind of looks more like more like um, a safari goer now than a fisherman. I don't know why I associate monocles with safari, but like think of like a posh Nigel Thornberry sort of thing. I don't know. Nigel Thornbury seems like the type to wear monocles, right? Does he does he ever wear a monocle? This is this is a topic that needs to be researched immediately. Does Nigel Thornbury ever wear a monocle? I'm gonna suspect the answer to that question is no. But um I'm I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. What Um can we just ask, why have we got triple shot permanently? Oh, I know why. We got Bookworm and Conjoined. Book of Sin. Eden's Blessing again. <laughs> Eden's Blessing does stack, so I will take this. Now, this may be one of the most ill-advised uh, things I've ever done, but I'm thinking with our new newfound Conjointness, we should be able to kind of schwack the competition here. Like, look at, look at the amount of damage we're putting out right now. Where the fuck did that chest come from? I think that was from our fisherman's hat, the luck base drops thing. Oh god, we need to go quickly. But yeah, we are, we are dealing buku damage right now, is what I'll call it. 
Oh, God. I forgot that he could fire behind him for a very brief moment. Then I got behind him and immediately remembered. God, look at the damage we put out. It's obscene. I mean, we do have 14 damage, and that is times 3 by the Forgotten's Burn, and then times 3 again by the 3 burns that we're shooting, so... Not completely hard to explain, really. It's it's somewhat predictable. I don't know why I used that there. It was a bit too early. Pin and Frail is kind of a funny combo. Oh, you little... Okay, I think Cage is first. He's a little harder. But he, he seems to have uh, opted for... Um, for voluntary redundancy from life. And uh, opted to, to just... just Plan his ass right on those spikes for us there, which was rather nice of him. I think I think that was a, a kind move, not expected, but certainly respected. Okay, I'm a little little scared because for one, Haunt seems to be uh, not Haunt. Um, little Loki seems to be absolutely moving and grooving. Squeeze me, sir. Squeeze me, dude, dude. Peep, you were dead, weren't you? <laughs> I assumed he was in his dying animation. He was not. <laughs> right. Health is still particularly low here. Uh, Sig Monstro is about house. He's about town. Love love a bit of Sig Monstro. He, uh... We, we've still got, like, three waves left, I think. I did have the mod that showed you the wave numbers, but I actually think it's kind of part of the tactic and risk of boss rush not knowing. Dude, why am I so slow? Fuck. Dude, dude, the fucking... Meh! Your horse bicycle just got me, and it's, it's severely annoyed me. I do not respect your transgressions against me. What the hell's going on here? That's gotta be it, right? Nope. I suppose we still haven't seen um, Sigma Monstro 2 yet, either. Ooh. Maybe we've got more waves than I thought. I just thought we're passing through the waves really quickly, so... I'm trying to think of bosses we haven't seen. We haven't seen the other angel yet, right? We haven't seen Sig Monstro 2. But I never remember with Boss Rush. Do you have to see all of the, um... Excuse me. Do you have to see all... Dude, just stop. Mate! <laughs> Fucking stop. Do you have to see all of the bosses every time, or does it kind of vary? This is so annoying. Just stay still, you little shit. Oh, yeah, okay. So we, we don't have to see all the bosses every time. Right. With our health lowered and my spirit crushed, we are going to go to Blue Baby. Let's go. Right. Double Eden's next run is going to be saucy. We've got to make make sure we play a fun character. Maybe maybe next episode, I will I will sans the, um, the randomizer. And I will just... Oh, we got Mum's uh, mum's thingy as well. Uh, well, Sans the Randomizer. And just go straight for a, like a Tainted Andromeda run, maybe? How does that sound? Oh, it's a chess boy. Because um, I can't remember if we've done a Tainted Andromeda on the streak. I don't think we have. But um, I I'm pretty sure we haven't. But I want to show off that thumbnail if we haven't. Because it's amazing. Um... But also, he's just a fun character, and I feel like giving ourselves the advantage of some extra items would be fun. Um, you watchers get some items that are just wholeheartedly detrimental to him. It'd be really funny. Uh, but yeah, he's a, he's a character that, that's got a lot of uh, a lot of tactic around him. Still surprised we've yet to see a, a chest, but that's kind of part and parcel of, uh, of, of mods like that, though. You don't make them so that they affect every single run all the time. You make them so that when those things do show up, they're a little more valuable and a little more sensical to open them. Especially Mimic Chests. Mimic Chests, there is literally no reason to open them on purpose unless you're a character like the Forgotten that can open them for free. There is literally no reason otherwise. I'm really hoping we get some, like, nifty luck upgrades. Our luck-based uh, drops kind of skyrocket and we get some chests. We've been getting a few chests here and there. That's Tinted Rock. Or is that Crawl Space? Crawl Space, thank you. Oh, hell. 
I think this is just for trinkets, right? Try it out, why not? Seems to be a, a ladder down this way. Do you know what? Hell yeah. Get me out of here. Oh, wait, it's a black market. Wasn't expecting that. Cool. I was I thought that was gonna be an error room. Don't know why. Evidence did not point to that, but. Then again, my brain is scrambled. Get over here, you little shit. Great that in Isaac you can call something a little shit and be exactly correct. <laughs> you have given that thing a very apt description. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. No, no, no. That room is, uh, is gone. I think we have to play into this dude here. He's gonna- I know what he's gonna do, though. I'm gonna- he's gonna pay out with a troll bomb and kill himself. It's- it's- Oh, uh, okay. He didn't. I, I was like, I, it's pretty much guaranteed, but apparently he was feeling generous today. Nice. We're getting so many chest drops, it's just none of them are the right chests. But like I said, spike chests and haunted chests aren't particularly common. I just really want to show it off. I really want to- to have it happen in action, because it's a mod I'm proud of. Despite Pedroff being the main coder, but I'm still proud of it. <laughs> Get absolutely burned, mother. But just a disgusting sentence to ever say, but I said it. It's out there in the world now. I mean, I have, I literally have a, a, a turtle quote of the day channel in my Discord for specifically stuff like posting out a context quotes. So maybe someone will end up posting it there. I do fucking love that channel. Mainly because like, I say such weird shit all the time, but I never remember. Like, it's, it's kind of a weird phenomenon. I don't know if it's something that every content creator gets, but I certainly get it. Like, basically the very second I finish recording a video, I completely forget every single thing I spoke about during that video. Like, even if I recorded the video minutes before uploading it, which is rare, but it happens sometimes. But even when that does happen, I have to go back into the video and look through my items and topics of conversation to see what I need to add to the title and thumbnail. I never remember, even if it was literally just recorded. It's, it's, a, it's, a, strange, it's a strange thing, but it happens basically every time. It's even worse with my uh, with my Isaac series because I have a pretty huge backlog. Most of you probably know about. I have like a 15 video backlog on my Isaac series. Um, so I, I I seriously like whenever I go to upload a video, I cannot remember at all what happened in that episode. Like I don't really, I don't know what items I got. I don't know what character I played. I have to reopen the video to check every single time without fail. It's kind of fun though because it means like. I don't, obviously, I don't watch my own videos, but, like, I can kind of re-experience the run and, like, go, oh, I remember that. That was fun sort of thing. Ooh, Mulligan's rather nice here. 5G's decent enough. Rubber cement is something. And Dad's key. Do you know what? Thank you. We have two luck. We might get... Oh, God. Get gone, people. Uh, we might get a few chests here and there. So we'll, uh, we'll, play, this, we'll play this run out. But we'll definitely go in Mega Satan, despite the blue baby being the uh, the obvious way forward. We might die, but that's kind of fun. Ooh, M. Give me some. Oh, okay. Gotta remember. Gotta remember to pick that up. Excuse me. We might have to do blue baby. Actually, thinking about it, our health is not good. Unless we got like a miracle item. And this is just seriously some tough stuff that we got going on here. I think 5G is doing some good stuff. We got whatever this is. Teleporter. <laughs> it turned into Doctor's Remote. That's so funny. Dude, what the f game? No, die. Wow. 
why won't you let me die? We got Bookworm again, just in case. Mate, I am going to die. I'm going to hit so much right now. Don't know what it is. I'm just playing like a bit of a goober. Got some dark farts. Nice. Nice, nice. Ooh. See, I I would D4, but I, I need my Eden's Blessings. I just fought you. Good. good. Oh my god. What is with these ridiculously hard fights? Yeah, yeah, that was pretty obvious that was going to happen. Dark Arts again. What, there's double pins in here? Why? Was the haunt not enough for you, game? Mama Mega is helpful. It does unfortunately delete an active from my inventory though, which is not great. So we're going to go back and find an active. I am, um, we're very much on the verge of death here. I'm going to be annoyed because I, I don't remember if Eden's Blessing, um, no, we'll take that. I don't remember if Eden's Blessing uh, works if you die. I'm pretty sure it does. I see you, chubby boy. I see you. The jar. Sprinkler. Right. We're, we're absolutely riding on a whim here. But we gotta go back. I, I seriously don't think we can do this. Um. See, I wanna play this, but can't they, like, poop out flies sometimes and hurt you? Which just seems like a really 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 sad way to lose a run like we need we need this guts to have this um let's give it one more actually no it doesn't doesn't really no we'll give it one more go of a reroll just for that that small chance of arky if i die doing this then on my head be it i'm thinking with mama mega we should be okay Berserk? Do you know what? Do you know what? Berserk ain't bad. Berserk ain't bad. Because if we can manage to charge it relatively quickly, I'm pretty sure you get deathless, don't you, while you're in Berserk. So let's uh, let's see if we can charge it with Mama Mega real quick. Yeah, there you go. How did you take so little damage there? So there you go. We got that. $3 bill could kill us. Could be amazing. You never know. Part of the gamble. Variety is the spice of life. The three dollar bill has a lot of variety. Right. Oh god, this was this was the right choice. <laughs> oh my lord, that was the right choice. Anyways, that ends our run. We're gonna have a pretty spicy run next time. I'll try and remember to detain an Andromeda. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.